So welcome back to base camp, WNC. Well, with all this virus stuff and everything going on, we're finally getting a bunch of stuff shipped in to us. This is another 12K system, a 12,000 watt system we just got done putting in. And I want to show you, of course, the same thing over and over again on these things. Is This is a UPC, it's a uninterrupted power source. Um, right now we've got, I'll take you outside, show you the panels. But we're slowly taking this place off grid. Right now, um, they have but just one bank of batteries in this box right here. It's uh, same as the one in my solar shack. We've got a pile of batteries in here. We once again have that little muffin fan right here because this is in the basement of a house or a walkout basement. We got the battery bank here, the vent fan goes up here alongside this furnace, this gas furnace, and then goes outside. And uh, that vents the battery box. They are lead acid batteries. Most people still kind of reluctant to go lithium with the price and all the problems. But of course it comes in, same as all the other ones, it comes in from the solar panels. We have a disconnect switch right here. This one's a little bit different in that I'll be doing some videos. This has a solar hot water. Eight, uh, four of the panels out there are de dedicated to solar hot water. But this is a 12K system. We're only using a fraction of it right now. because we don't have that many batteries. We only have eight panels hooked to it. And the thing I like about these systems is, is you can just keep adding. So let me take you outside and show you what the array looks like and then we'll go up to the panels just like all these things hopefully the light's not blinding too bad but this one has two pv arrays right now we only have one hooked up this is the line mode we are now we have the line off we're just working strictly off of solar and this is battery of course right here's a warning light if something goes wrong but what this is saying it's got a little smiley face says everything's fine and dandy we're working off of PV panels and we're in battery mode right now. We're in PV select. So right here is the grid power and of course you see no line coming in and going into the, this is the inverter because we're in PV mode. We have power going out and we're right now we're only using 2% of everything we got there because we're basically working off of panels and some battery. We are generating right now, this is the PV input going into it. We are generating 116, 118, 119 volts going into the MPPT controllers, going into the inverter. The battery is sitting somewhere around 100% at 56.8 volts in the battery. And uh, like I said, we can go up to 56 panels on this system, I do believe, because it does have two 60 amp chargers inside the unit there is a contact for a dry contact for a generator start that if you're an off-grid system and you don't have any grid feed you can have a generator hooked up that would plug into it and if you have a remote start inverter type generator when the batteries go down to the low point It'll automatically throw the generator on and, char and run your house on the generator and charge the batteries. So there is a automatic generator start hook up on this. They have a generator, but it's a man it's a manual start. So if it goes down in snow or something like that, what they'll have to do is just go ahead and crank the generator up and let it charge everything up. Well, here's the outside array. And the first four panels right here actually run the hot water heaters. And the other eight panels is all they have going into the solar charge controller and the machine. And if memory serves me correct with this 12,000 unit, we can go as many as 56 panels because there are two 60 amp chargers going into this thing. So we can have like 56 panels going into that charge controller and a mountain load of batteries. Um, let's take you up and 
We've just pulled some stuff out of a panel and put it in a needs panel right now because right now they're not going to have enough solar power or batteries to run the whole house all night long and everything in it. So the purpose of this system is, is we can just keep adding panels here. We can add another whole rack down below that right there and we can keep adding panels and keep adding batteries as money allows. Well, this house kind of has a, a house and an apartment on it. And this is a sub box they got in here running this whole section over here and right now about 80% of all this stuff is moved over into this box on them panels on those breakers so as more panels are added and more batteries are added we'll go over to the other end of the house about 10 feet away 15 feet and put another sub box in there and start pulling everything out of there that we can put on solar until we can get to the point where you just take the whole house off grid you have to go back and forth a little bit doing this just that everything's not in place well we're back outside to get a breath of air if you're interested in something like this they sell these things these ups systems these uninterrupted power supplies from 1,000 all the way up to about 25,000 watts. Be more than glad to talk to you about it. And supply you with whatever you need, or panels, or array, or charge controllers, whatever you're interested in. If I can be a help, my email and everything there at the bottom, give me a shout. As usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. I'll see you next time.